Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kim. I'm going to be doing your pyramid spread for the week of the 15th of April. And the message that's coming through from the Archangel Gemstone and Guardian cards is the Red Tiger's Eye. If you can see that here. Um, this is asking you, Aries, if you need some motivation. Could it be in love or could it be in um, your career or your life purpose? Um, it's also asking, do you find just your mind wandering? when you're trying to stay focused if you do um, it's telling you that you need to find your passion so what you truly believe in um, not what you're meant to be doing because of what people perceive that you should be doing like if you've got a, a job because you need the money but your true passion isn't lying there um, it's telling you to to find that passion that you truly believe in since you were a child and start um, experiencing the rewards that come with living it. So you've got to do what you love because you've got prosperity coming, but you must take action first, Aries. Now, with the Romance Angel cards from Drawing Virtue, I've got Make the Effort. So this is something that you've been wanting to do since childhood, Aries. And um, I do see that you've been planting the seeds of late, but you just haven't um come to full abundance with this things are starting to flower so maybe you've been feeling or experiencing what it's going to be like further down the track but it's telling you that these steps are, um, are worth taking and the angels are helping you um towards that now with the lenormand cards um, I have the underlying issue as the crossroads. Now, this is opportunities that are coming to you. And it's also about decision making. Sorry, the lighting's pretty bad. There we go. Um, so it's about decisions that you're facing. Could be uh, multiple decisions as well. And this is decisions with a friend. So this could be... Um, something that you're involved in with a, a loyal friend um, this person is very successful their physical description is their um, the go-getters they shine the light on what they want to do and they just go and do it like all Aries I feel it could be another Aries person or it could be a Libra that um, that you're doing this with but they're very successful and they're very driven about, uh, once they make their mind up, they're very driven in what they do. And, and this also applies to you, Aries, uh, as you're the leader of the zodiac signs. Uh, once you get a thought in your head, it's about, um, you know, you, you're very impulsive. So you don't want to have patience. You want to get straight to it and achieve it. And, and the sun is about accomplishments and uh, being joyous in all areas of your life. Now... It's telling me with um, the romance angel cards here is that you deserve love and you're lovable. So for some of you, this could be to do with a romance and uh, maybe you've got your heart set on somebody because you've got the bow and arrow there and you're trying to uh, get your emotions across to this person. It could be a friend that probably turns into love. Um, There's a little bit of rough waters there. So... You've got your angels here behind you guiding you but it's telling you that you need to make the effort with this person as well because it's straight underneath is the dog so this is someone that you've known for a very long time maybe since childhood because you've got the two children in this depicted in this picture but it's telling you to make the effort because um this is something that's going to be very successful for you a successful decision will be made Okay, now I've picked three cards from the Animal Oracle deck and you've got the Ace of Summer. So for the lovebirds, this is um, a beginning of a new emotional experience for you. It may be your first time, Aries, that um, you've felt like this and it's your first blush of romantic love. Or if you're in a relationship, this could be a rebirth. Or if you are doing a spiritual work with a friend, uh, this is the... Um, Time for spiritual awakening and uh, receiving gifts and insights from the divine. I have also picked the seven of winter. So uh, this is the magpie Aries and it is asking you to be cautious. 
um, about your valuables that could be lost. Now this happens with Mercury still in retrograde until the 15th. And this could play out before the 15th. Um, <clears throat> if it does, you just need to be a little bit cautious with um, your valuables like your keys or any piece of jewellery, any money that you've misplaced, that type of thing. But it is also um, asking you to have time for, for peace of mind as well. Just be aware of the results of your actions. So maybe some of you are getting a little bit foggy because you've got decisions to make and you're placing things down and forgetting where they are. And I can really relate to that because Mercury's been causing a little bit of havoc with a lot of things. And uh, I'm sure all the zodiac signs are experiencing this at the moment. But um, it's also asking you to be aware of what other people's doing behind your back. So if you are in a spiritual partnership with someone, maybe they're being a little bit secretive with the key up here and you're going to make a discovery with this person. But um, it is a successful decision that you will make together. And the message from Archangel Ariel is that you need to aff affirm uh, just before you go to bed, quietly or you can say this out loud i am passionately persistent i have the courage and self-confidence to create my world it is easy for me to take action and move forward in life with joy and enthusiasm so this is tying in with the sun here this is about being enthusiastic and optimistic and uh, having self-confidence courage and achieving all your accomplishments with joy so if you can obtain yourself a red tiger's eye and carry this with you uh, for this period of time from the 15th to the end of April um, this is going to help you make those decisions more clearly and um, abundance will come now with the underlying issue as the crossroads so there's opportunities or multiple decisions to make uh, but they will be successful but what you're um, needing here Aries is balance You've got the major arcana card and this is significant in this reading it is the zebra and um it's just saying that um you need to merge your points of views together so if you're doing spiritual work with another person just um merge your ideas together don't work alone and you can generate extraordinary new ideas together so it's just about compromising with the other person collaborating to discover a better solution and this could be the, the message here with the key because the key is about finding solutions so um, I hope this has been a, a um, beneficial for you for the week of the 15th of April but um, there is a message from Archangel Ariel and it's about um, taking action with what you're passionate about. Make the effort here. It could be something you wanted to do since childhood. You deserve love and you deserve um, to do what it is that you love to do. So if it's in reference to um, another person, make that effort. If it was a friend that you've known since childhood and you're getting uh, feelings for this person, make the effort and the outcome is going to be very successful for you for the week take care aries um, if you want a personal reading with me the links are below and i'll see you again soon thank you